Yo, what's up guys, it's Gaming Lounge here, and I want to show you guys five ways to start a new game in ESO. These are just tips and tricks for beginners, mainly beginners, but if you're not a beginner and you want to start a new build or something, or if you want to be a tank instead of DPS, blah blah blah, whatever the reason is, this video is for you guys. And I wanted to show you this video because I feel like a lot of people do not know a good way to start off their character the right way. But anyways, let's jump right into this. First thing you guys want to know when you start a new game in ESO is what race and class you are because they play a key role in what you're going to be doing in ESO. So there's only 12 races you can be in this game. Well, you got the Bretons, you got the Orc, the Red Guard, the High Elf, Wood Elf, Khajiit, Argonian, Dark Elf, and Nord. So de um, depending on what race and class you are, that kind of determines if you're going to be, like, so to speak, if you're going to be, for instance, in dungeons. So for those of you who have never played this game, a dungeon is just basically a big old giant cave underground or just regular dungeon you would know out of your mind. Where you go through this area with your group and you face a number of enemies and bosses. And basically you get a big old giant reward at the end of the dungeon whenever you kill everything in it. So basically there are like three different types of characters when you have a dungeon. You've got your DPS specialist, you've got your tank, and your healer. And depending on the race you pick and the class you pick, that kind of determines what your specialties are. So I'll show you the classes. So the classes are Nightblade, Sorcerer, Dragon Knight and Templar. So it's kind of very important that you kind of be picky on what you pick here. And the rest is just your body. Let's move on to the next tip. Tip number two, guys. Do the tutorial at the beginning of the game. If you are new, this is big because it teaches you some important skills you should know in this game. For instance, fighting, blocking, your skills, how everything works, leveling, all that stuff. Tip number three, guys, your skills and your attributes. Very important that you know about this. So depending on what class and race you are and what path you choose to go down, DPS, tank, or healer, this is where it gets really important. So if you were to be a healer or any type of magic-based user you want to put all your points into magicka if you are a tank you want to put all your points in either he health or stamina I would say probably stamina if you wanna do healer you wanna put them all in magicka so depending on what base you are health, stamina, or magicka, you want to put all your attribute points into that one slot. This is not Skyrim. You don't go and you put one into magicka and then put another into stamina when you are a magicka based user. Remember, this is not Skyrim. This is completely different than Skyrim. And also another thing is your skills. Your skills is also very important. One thing that people do that's a mistake is they would only pick a couple skills in this skill tree like for instance Daedric Summoning but they don't get any passive abilities because passive abilities is what makes these skills stronger better and more accurate whatever so on etc that it's important that you get the passive abilities and also guys another thing is look over your skills like go to a skill and say okay conjured ward what is that oh conjured it, it's a it's a big conjured globes of daedric energy for protection granting a damage shield for you and your pets that absorb 45 32 damage for six seconds okay okay now i know what it is maybe that's something i should get Go through every single one of these skill trees and read the bars. It is very important. It will affect you later on how you play this game and what you'll be doing. 
It's very important. But anyways, let's move on to the next tip. Tip number four, guys. Do the quest line. Do the main story. In fact, do other quests. Just go around and do quests because that's a great way to level up at the beginning of the game. Do the story and do a bunch of quests and you will enjoy the game a whole lot more because this game has a lot into it and it has a lot to offer. And you are missing out on a lot if you do not do the quests and the storyline. So make sure you go out there and do some questing. Tip number five guys, explore Tamriel. The people who made this game work their butt off to make a huge world for us to just to explore and have fun. Explore. Look at this. This is one little portion of the whole map of Tamriel. This is just a tiny little dot in the sea. This is where you start off when you start as a Evan Heart Pact on the Alliance. And the Alliance has three different there's three different alliances. Well, you got the Aldemarian Dominion, you got the Ebon Heart Pact, and you got the Daggerfall Covenant. Like I said, depending on which alliance you choose, you will start in different sections of the map. So, for instance, if you're at Ebon Heart Pact, you start off in Morrowind. If you are Daggerfall Covenant, you start off in the Daggerfall Covenant. The same with the Aldebarian Minion, which is down here. Ebonheart Pact, Daggerfall Covenant, Aldebarian Minion. Say that a bunch of times, because you're going to need to know all this stuff. And, by the way, I'm right here. This is a little tiny portion. I did make a previous video a while back explaining and reviewing ESO and how things work. Go back to that video if you want to know details on how the map works, like what are these things. And all the different locations you can see in the ESO. So go back to that video and watch it if you want to know all that stuff. This is where you start off if you're an Evan Hart Pact. Uh, I believe right here, no, it's out of your name. I think right here is where you start off when you do Daggerfall Covenant. I've never played a as the Daggerfall Covenant. I've never started a character in the Daggerfall Covenant because I've none of those characters ex uh, interest me. But anyways, guys, explore the map of Tamriel. Explore it. You're free to do it. There was an update that makes it to where you're free to do it. Like that's called the one Tamriel update. It makes it. It makes it easier for you to explore because you don't have certain levels to kill enemies. It makes it easier, like the resistance is easier. But anyways guys, let's jump on to the next tip. Tip number six guys, go around and collect wood, flies, more wood, metal, more metal, Pick up plants and collect them. And sky shards. And last but not least, rune stones. I want you guys to go around and collect these items I just told you about for a whole one solid hour. I'm not even kidding you. Do it. Go out, collect those for one solid hour. Tip number seven. Buy yourself a mount. I don't care how you get it. You can save up gold to buy it, or you could spend real money to get a better mount. But buy yourself a mount. You're really going to need it in this big, open world, huge MMO that has a buttload of stuff to do. Guys, you're going to want a mount. It's really nice to have a mount. You can find your mounts by going to the Collections tab at the top and click on Mounts, and then you go and click on whatever mounts that you've purchased. And like, for instance, I bought the Cave Bear. I'm going to set that active. 
I'm going to press H on the keyboard. I don't know what it is in PS3 or Xbox. And then once you press that, then you get on your mount. And you can ride around freely and do what you want. Tip number eight, guys. Craft your first weapon. This is actually really important. Because when you start off the game, you're not going to start off with a very good weapon. But what I would say is craft yourself a start off weapon so that you can get your skills up and running. And once you craft yourself a weapon, you can go out and kill some enemies and do quests or whatever the heck you want to do. Explore or whatever. Don't matter to me. Craft yourself a good weapon. The reason why I showed you guys a little bit earlier in this video to go around and collect different items throughout the map that you see in Tamriel. You can use those items for crafting. Very important. Alchemy and other things like that. And also enchanting. That's what rune stones are for. So you take those items and you want to deconstruct them into materials that you can use for crafting. And you go over to the creation tab. Read that if you want to, it doesn't matter. But I'll explain it to you. And you want to create whatever weapon you choose to do so, depending on your skill line and also your class and character. I'm going to pick either a lightning staff, inferno staff, or a, uh, what's it called, an ice staff. For me, I'm going to pick a lightning staff. I don't know. I just like lightning staff me is the best way for AoE, which I'll explain that a little bit later. In fact, I'll explain it now. AoE is basically what it says it is, area of affection. Basically, how much damage you do in one area. So you take that item, go to your inventory, even shows you where it's going to be placed, even up here at the top and you equip it. And you want to go around, kill enemies, and do quests with this weapon. Another thing, guys, is go to your skills. And like I said earlier on the video, you want to read every single skill that's in existence on this whole thing. Now, you'll unlock new skill lines later on when you join different uh, when you join different groups, like for instance, the Thieves Guild, or the Mages Guild, the Fighters Guild, things like that, and they'll have skill lines too that you can go in and choose. So now, I'm going to choose the Lightning form. Very good skill. Let's find out what it does. Well, what it does, it manifests yourself as a pure lightning zapping nearby enemies with electricity dealing 305 shock damage every one second for 15 seconds and it also increases your spell resistance by 5280 so that's pretty important so what we're going to do is we're going to equip that skill onto my skill line which it already is because we unlocked it and it does it automatically and we're going to activate it so when you're killing enemies that skill is going to help you kill them and also, it's going to give you some resistance. Tip number nine, guys. Armor. Armor is very important in this game. If you look at your stats, like for instance, I have 15,000 Magicka. This is what I started out with, with 1,400 spell damage. And your armor is pretty important on what your stats are going to be. So go to a clothing station for the creation button. If you have anything to deconstruct, go ahead and do it. That, that, that's pretty important. Deconstruct the stuff. This, guys, also depends on what, what class you are or what race you are. So, if, for instance, if you want to be a tank, you're not going to go to a clothing station, you're going to go to the blacksmithing station. And over there, you can craft some heavy armor. Over here, in a clothing station, you can only craft uh, light armor and medium armor. 
For me, I'm gonna craft light armor because I am a sorcerer, DPS, and I'm a Breton. So, once you've gotten the materials, which I do not have the materials because the materials I was deconstructing is not the right materials to craft this item. Depending on the materials that you use also determines the strength and how good your armor is. The better material you have, the better that's going to be. So go out there, craft some armor, get some good armor. It's going to take a little bit of time to be able to do this. But go out there, craft some armor, and go out and have some fun in ESO. Alrighty guys, last and final tip. Make friends. I am telling you, make some friends in ESO. This is an MMO. You have a buttload of people playing it, and it's so important that you make some friends because having friends in ESO is just makes the game ten times better. Make, make some, some friends. friends. If you don't, if you don't have, have friends, then you won't, you won't have anyone, anyone to play with, with when you start, start the game. game. Yes, yes, you will have people to play with, with but you won't, you won't have, have people to play with that you enjoy playing with. So, so make, make some, some friends, friends in the SO. SO. It, it is, is very, very important. important. It really helps you in the world of the SO. So guys, go out there and take these 10 tips for granted. Take them for granted. Have fun, Have fun, enjoy, enjoy this, this game. game. You, you know, know, play the, the game, game, what it's what built, built for. Explore, explore this world. world. Do everything ESO has, ESO has to offer you. Do, do quests. Quest. Have, Have fun. fun. Do, do what, the what the game is made for. for. Trust, Trust me, the game is ten times more enjoyable when you actually do what's in the game. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It took me a lot of time to make this video for you guys. I did it for you guys so that you can have a lot of fun with this game if you are new. Remember, this game is mainly for people who are new for this game. If you're new for this game, this is a video for you. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. And if you have not, please leave a like down at the bottom. And if you have not, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.